G'day, it's Mark here at Combi Life and Vanessa. Today we're going to have a look at two interesting uh, five berth campers. One is a transporter, one is a multivan, one has the traditional rear kitchen, one has the slide out kitchen, one has the big four berth eye camper tent, and one has the brand new eye camper mini. Let's take a look. This particular one is a TDI 450 transporter two seat van that we've expanded out to five seats. We'll see that in a minute. Got the uh, nudge bar on it. The TDI 450 is special because it's the Euro 6 450 Newton meter, 150 kilowatt. To be honest, this card goes like an absolute rocket, and uh, has been a lot of fun to drive this um, since we've had it in our in our fleet. We've powder coated the rims black, the traditional Volkswagen 17 inch commercial rims, the uh, big load bearing rims, and they look sensational in black to complement all the other black items that are standard on the transporter. It's a 2018 model with, you know, standard rear camera, rear view assistance, etc. Retrofitted a window. We've got the uh, van life decals on this particular one. But what's particularly interesting here today is we've got the iCamper Mini. The iCamper Mini is a, uh, is a two berth tent. It's a two berth tent. So we can fit uh, two people lengthways here, but it has the same, uh, the same idea by able to flip it up like this, obviously we need to take the support rods out and so on, but easily flip it over to close up the tent and close it up within just a couple of minutes. As you can see on the inside, it is very large, it has the skylight, it has windows opening on both sides, and we have one open at the moment at the rear tailgate end, and we have the, uh, the open fly area here at the front. It's a particularly nice setup and compact setup 55 kilos it's easy to lift on and off and we use on both of these tents the quick release brackets as well the quick release brackets make it very quick with the cordless drill off your tool of wing bars we're using wing bar evos here the quick release brackets with the cordless drill just undo the four fixing points and the tent will be liberated from the top of the vehicle here we have in this particular van Carrying on the Tula theme, we have the Tula, uh, some rear bags in here. So the rear bags is a shoe rack and a traditional rack here. So here's the traditional rack on this side from Tula. These are an inexpensive option to easily put into a transporter. We've also fitted this particular vehicle with our Arco twin tunnel system. On the one side, we can load in our heavy objects. On this side, put in uh, through load objects such as skis, snowboards, surfboards, golf clubs, camping equipment. And if you come around this side, you'll see here we have the traditional uh, slide-out rear kitchen system. I said traditional, it's fairly new. The slide-out rear kitchen has its uh, four drawers, including the cooker here, the sink. We've got an optional shower here and the Dometic uh, Waco fridge. So that works very well. Obviously, this is all modular. It can come in and out. We have mounted this to a, to a floor system. So we've installed a floor system into here. We've also done all this interior lining, put in walls, floors, uh, uh, Dynamatic Stream sound deadening in here, as well as uh, insulation, Polymax insulation. And we can hear here on the side of the vehicle, in terms of the insulation, uh, when we normally tap on the side of the vehicle, it will be quite hollow, and in this part where the door runner is, it's hollow. But here on the side, it's uh, very, very uh, dampened in here as well. Uh, we've also put on uh, uh, some insulation and uh, lining here on the tailgate, as well as install the install the uh, the curtains, which we'll see in a moment makes a very big difference to create some protection in this case from the sun. So we've installed the curtain systems in here as well. If we have a look around this side, we also have a, a window, a factory window here with factory opening window. We have uh, the split. Uh, tech safe seat system so instead of installing a triple seat which makes it hard to access the rear we have installed a double and a single so we can have the double in or the single in or both in or both out a little bit like the caddy in that regard and we can put this back up lift this up and have our, our seating arrangements here you can also see here we have installed twin swivel seats in this particular vehicle as well I can retract this bed here and then lift up this seat and have us as a, as a five seater in here. It's imagined this vehicle would be used as a four berth camper with two upstairs, 
and two downstairs here on the double bed downstairs. Let's have a look at the vehicle next to us. It's a, it's a Volkswagen multivan. So the multivan um, has the same engine and gearbox typically as a transporter, a TDI 347 speed DSG. And in this particular multivan, we've also configured it as a five seater. It has our traditional rear kitchen system in there, uh, which you uh, may have seen some of our other videos and be familiar with. It has the sink, the cooker, like I said, of four drawers, it has seven drawers, a, a bigger fridge, uh, bigger utensil drawers, and so on. And bigger pots and pans drawers. We also have here in this particular vehicle the rear window pack bags from Vanessa. They're perfect for the multivan and slide in and out very, very simply and allow us to have a very, very large amount of storage uh, in the pack bags. They certainly fit a lot of uh, swimmers or socks or whatever else in there. Mobile phone holder as well as our glasses holder and our keys holder. And they go into the multivan window systems which have the blind uh, as standard. So using the blind shelf, we can slide that up and in uh, very, very quickly. We could install curtains into this vehicle. We have not yet done so. Uh, we can see in this particular vehicle, we have the uh, one rotating uh, one rotating chair. This multivan has electric doors. We have the passenger seat is rotated. We have the double bed in here working off the triple seat, which we can immediately put back to a seated position. So as you can see, a little bit like the other van, it is a five-seater, but with a, a single triple seat here, which is easy to manipulate on the rail system, unlike the transporter van. And then we can create a, a seated area. We can have four people facing each other. We could also, which we haven't yet, but we could also fit a second swivel to the driver's seat. This particular van has fitted to it as well the uh, Tula Omni Store, in this case, awning. So the Tula Omni Store awning works fundamentally the same way as our old favourites, the Dometic. Perfect wall 1500. Just release the legs out. And we'll just wind that out. Stephen will give us a hand with the, with the legs. Just so they don't slip. Let that go out floppy and back, and now we've created a very nice uh, shaded area here under the passenger side of the multivan. The other thing we have on this particular vehicle at the moment is the four berth eye camper tent. I'll just close the tailgate so we get a bit of view of that. And the four berth eye camper tent is fundamentally twice the size of the other tent of the eye camper mini. So the four berth is a bit longer along the roof, which suits the multivan very well, and is uh, wider as a consequence. So in here we can sleep two adults and two children, three children, for example. So a very common way that a multivan would be used here is mum and dad sleeping inside and kids upstairs in the eye camper four berth rooftop tent, so three children. This is, vehicle presently has five seat belt positions. As we know, the multivan can cope with an additional one or even two captain's chairs in that rail system. It is possible in the short wheelbase multivan to have all seven seats in the van and still make the bed. It's a bit cramped. We would recommend uh, it in the current configuration or maybe at maximum one more chair in there. So there's a little bit of maneuvering room and we can swivel the front passenger seat to create some additional space in the van. There you have it, a quick overview of a transporter and a multivan, a nicely prepared fixed roof transporter, TDI 450, with two berth eye camper rooftop tent, the eye camper mini, or a five berth multivan with the four berth tent and traditional kitchen. These are mix and matchable, so we can put the Arco in the multivan, the traditional kitchen in the transporter, the mini on the multivan, or the 4X, of course, onto the transporter. Thanks very much for your interest and for watching. Uh, any comments in below, just pop in a comment. Happy to answer them, of course. And uh, enjoy the van life journey. <laughs>